their origami fiddlers. In this movie, I will show you some fast origami. Watch this. And I'm finished. Here it is, the origami bed I just made. I will also show you how to fold this origami bed, but not so fast. Because I couldn't do that also so fast, because here's paper. And I already folded the bed before. In the first part of the movie, I will guide you step by step on how to fold the origami bed. In the second part of the movie, I will tell you something about the structure. Have fun folding! Fold the paper in half. First, we're going to make a bird base, as you can see in the upper right corner. This is a famous base because you can make the traditional origami crane out of it. What you can do horizontally, you can also do diagonal. As you can see, we fold it horizontally. And now we're going to turn it over and fold it in half on the diagonal. We will repeat that on the other side. After this fold, you completed the asterisk. Uh, in origami, you have to fold this asterisk many times. Uh, the folds are in the wrong direction, so there comes the trick. And now you can fold it very easily into the preliminary base or the square base. From the square base, we'll make the uh, further the bird base. Now we'll make our kites. Here you can see you have to fold the paper with the center line as your guideline and fold, uh, valley fold the other side also in. Origami is all about symmetry, so we'll have to repeat the steps we just did on the other side. These are preparatory folds. We'll use these folds later to easier do the petal fold. Now comes a very nice trick to fold the petal fold. And you have the top flap very big and you fold it behind. And this is a mountain fold. See, there it is. Now open the sides and do the petal fold. Open one layer and fold it to the top. Fold the sides in using the creases you made in the previous steps. Do it on the other side and you made the petal fold. And now repeat on the other side, which is very similar. Fold the top layer up, fold the sides in using the creases you made and now you completed the bird base. Congratulations! Now you completed the bird base, we're finally getting to the next step. Valley fold the top flap to the side, diagonally. You can use the center line as a guideline to fold the closed side par parallel to the center line. Repeat it on the other sides. We're making preparatory folds for another step. These are very important because further folds will become much easier when you make these preparatory folds. Take the top layers 
and fold them open where you fold the top flap down. Fold these side points in and out. These are also preparatory folds. Now we're going to do a squash fold. You can see you can open the top layer and now you're going to squash it down. Just like on the other sides, you open the layer and fold it and squash the paper down. See? Now we're going to fold back the flap to the top. Make it neat. Squash it down. And you got a nose like thingy. See? Now we're going to repeat the steps on the other sides. Because origami is all about symmetry. A valley folds the flap diagonally and fold it back. Valley fold on the other side. And fold it back. Now we're going to open the model. Fairly fold, uh, fold the points in and fold it back. These are the preparatory folds for the squash folds. Now we're going to open the layer, fold it and squash the paper down. Open the layer and squash it down. And we're going to fold the top flap to the top. Make it neat. And congratulations. We're going to make a book fold. This is called a book fold because we're Folding it like the pages of a book, see, and we'll fold it like uh, another one, like the pages of a book, just so we get to the other side. There, we're going to fold the flap to the top, and we're going to repeat something similar we just did in the other steps. So first we're going to do preparatory folds. Valley fold it down. And fold it up. See, this side to that side. Valley fold it down. And fold it up. Now this is the harder part. You can see you can open the layer here also on the other side. You can open the layer and we're going to try to fold that layer down. This can be hard. Let's keep trying. You will manage. See we opened one layer and folded one layer down and now we need to repeat that on the other side. The other side is a little bit more trickier because it's more st stuck. But we, you can do it. Fold it down. And then make it neat. And as you can see, you have a sort of nose again. Now we're going to fold it on the side and fold the down layer up. So you can get a very similar fold as we did in the previous steps. And the result is a pointy nose again. Now we're going to repeat that on the other side. Fold it up. 
we're going to make the preparatory folds, which are very important. Those will help in folding the paper down. And for the other side, side to side, parallel to parallel. Now we need to open the paper again. There it goes. You see the two layers that can open. And now we're going to open one layer and fold it down. Turn it over, and then you can fold the other layer. It might get stuck, but keep trying. You will manage. And there we have the pointy nose, and we're going to make it neat and more longer, folding the down flaps up. You, you can see from the top side, you have a very nice star. Four are smaller than the other four. And we're going to make them the same size. First, we're going to do a preparatory fold for the inside reverse fold. See, now they are of the same height. Now we're going to do the inside reverse fold. Open the paper and push the point inside. We're going to have to repeat that for all four or no all three long edges. A preparatory fold and an inside reverse fold. Push it inside. A preparatory fold and an inside reverse fold. Push it again inside. You know the drill, a preparatory fold and an inside reverse fold. Push it inside. See, now we have all tails at the same length. Now we're going to do, uh, get to a hard part. We're going to flatten the top. Yeah, you can do that very gently. Just push it little by little. At every little push, it is flattened a little bit. We need to flatten it everywhere. So this will take a while. So also, the longer edges. We're going to push along the edge down. And repeat that for every tail, every point. Look, there's a neck. We can easily fix those by pulling them apart. And we'll continue with the rest of the long points. Just push it little by little. And with patience, it will get reversed eventually. To push 
the paper more down you need to pull one tail a little bit will push the paper further along the other paper push it further and further and further don't give up pushing make it neat a little bit with gentle pushing and pulling you can uh, come a far end As you put, push it, you will get a flat model again eventually. Now we're going to make it flat. Now we get, uh, get at the top, and there we make it neat. And we sharpen the sides. And that's how we get a flat model again, as you can see. It's, it's similar on all sides. Fold the upper layer in half. Repeat this valley fold on the other side. This will be the front and the back. This is a book fold. And we're getting to the other side. Fold the top layer all the way up. Now we're going to make the wings of the bed. Repeat it on the other side. We'll make this valley fold so that pulling out the wings will become easier later. Repeat it on the other side. We'll have to repeat that twice also on the other side. See, there are the creases. And now we're going to do that on the other side. Valley fold the top layer to the right. Always make good creases. Now we can, can open that. See, it's open. Put your finger in, and now we're going to push it. See, there we're going to push it. Oh, I'm sorry. There we're going to push it. Here we go, like that, and now we push the paper out. We're going to repeat that on the other side. See, a wing is already starting to unfold. Push it out. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. Push the paper out. And repeat that on the other side. See, you almost have its wings. Now we're going to fold the under layer inside. And we're going to repeat that on the other side so that we get nice half wings. And you see, one wing is finished. If we repeat that on the other wing, we get two wings. The bed is almost finished.
snap, 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 snap. Turn it, turn it, whoop, 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 turn it. Pull the point out. And we can snap again. You finished your bed. See, on the other side, you can keep the point in. And the bed is finished. Congratulations. Congratulations. Snap, 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 snap. Congratulations on finishing the bed. But now I'm going to dismantle it. You probably call me crazy, but this helps me to explain something about the structure. Because origami is not about trying single individual steps, it's about structure. And hopefully, with the creasing pattern you get when I dismantle the whole bed again. I can show you that. See you in a sec. If you have been bold enough to take the bed apart, you get the creasing pattern. There's mine. But don't you worry, I, I can easily fix mine. I don't know if you can easily fix yours, but I can do that with the magic I gather from my wondrous roots. There's the paper, and there's the bed. And I, I don't you worry, I can easily dismantle it because I need the creasing pattern. And there's the paper again. Now I will show you something about the structure of the bed. Do you remember the bed that we made out of the bird base? I got the bird base here. If you take that apart, you can see the crease pattern of the bird base. This crease pattern you can also see in the crease pattern of the bed. And I wanted to show you this so that you can easier determine the other creases that are specific to the bed. I just showed you the creases of the bird base in the creasing pattern. Now I can show you the specific creases of the bed in the creasing pattern. I got a, another bed right here. And I got it colored eh, with red, yellow, green, and blue. Those you can also see in the creasing pattern. Can you recognize the bed in the picture be uh, besides me? Now, now you see that there is more structure in origami than you would think if you only do the steps individually uh, when you follow a diagram or a movie. Thank you for watching. For the diagram of the bed or the crease patterns or you can also find more origami models wander around at my website wunderbaarlijkewoud.nl